Okay, I'm back out here in the bean field a few days later after making that second pass on the beans. Doing a couple things. Uh, first off, on the cultivator, there's a lot of rocks out there. So what I ended up having to do is bring the oxy uh, fuel out here. And these shanks, I'm pretty sure they're some kind of spring steel. And um, they're 150 bucks a piece. What had happened, it's happened three times now. This will get a rock and the spring here isn't enough to kick it out. So what ends up happening is this arc gets bent and this tip goes down into the ground. Um, pretty extreme. So what I ended up doing, you can just see it right here, I just heated that and then whacked it and got this so at least it's flat, parallel to the ground. I've done that a couple times before, like on this shank right here and this shank here. My understanding of spring steel, if you get it too hot, you'll uh, it'll lose the temper and you're supposed to uh, basically get it super hot, cherry red, then quench it, and then make it less brittle by tempering it and bring it up to a certain hardness that you want. If you don't do that, apparently it'll just revert to mild steel and bend. But I've had those other two repairs that I showed, the second and third repairs, there and... Uh, there have held up for 500 acres without bending again. So I'm going to try it again on this one. That one bent the last time I did it, but um, three days ago or so. It's starting to sprinkle, starting to rain a little bit here. But I did come out and go over it a second time. And yeah, there's still some in the row, but um, it's better. I always kind of see, I always think, oh man, I did a good job. And then I come out here and I show it on the camera. It's like, hey. But as I go down the rows, most of my weeds are in the end rows or right at the beginning of each row as I head out into the field. You can kind of see that flush right there. But once you get out in there, I'm generally pretty happy with it. So this is with two passes and these beans are about a month ago and there's going to be some weeds there's just no I'm pretty meticulous about trying to do that but as long as the plants healthy and the weeds aren't robbing it too much of nutrients um, I've got a good stand even the laggards I think there was something wrong with my row planter I got one row that was a little setting it too deep but by and large I've got a good stand out here it's remarkable you go on the other side of that farmstead there, there's about 95 acres in beans here. On the other side of that farmstead, these plants are, here they're maybe 10 inches tall, and the bean plants over there are three to five inches tall. But um, I'll give it a couple more days, and then I'll come back and row cultivate it again and whatever weeds make it through. I'll keep cultivating it basically until uh, the beans canopy. But anything that's bigger than the bean at this point or in the row is gonna, is gonna be bigger than the, uh, bigger than the bean and it'll go to seed. But then next year, next year this'll be wheat and hopefully that'll give me a chance to um, knock back some of the weeds. I don't really focus too much on it, although I have in this video. It's, um, they're looking good compared to what I faced last year when I had that uh, damping off or fungus. I'm having problems with this time weeder as well. Not problem, mechanical rim failure on the tires on two of them. And then there's the frame is bent too, so I'm gonna shoot a video on that and send it over to Matt, Bayshore Sales, and see what he has to say about that. Anyway, I'm out here five miles from home. Got the van, I'm trying to beat the rain, 
And, um, well, that's that. Thanks for watching.